Yo, we back in for question with our Kim. I have back everybody's favorite. What's your name, man? Drop Top Savage in for questioning. Cool beans, man. Let's get to it, man. So, uh, I um have been talking to a lot of young people been talking to me about uh, this topic that's throwing me off. Um, a lot of young females around like 20, 21, they're on this new thing. To them, it's new, I guess. To us, it's old. But they talk about being courted. I want to be courted. I want my man to court me. What's throwing me off with it is, for my generation, that's what happens before when you're in the dating stage. So what's up with this new shit with these bras that's going on? After they didn't, they didn't, they didn't get a the up, now they tell, telling a man, you have to court me. What the fuck is that about? What you think about? I think it's important to remember you still got a date. Regardless, you still got a date. That's what it all, all, all comes down to. They, they feel like some people, they may forget about that. Just because you got them, you got to maintain that. You can't you can't forget and get too comfortable, too lax. The same thing with looks and appearance, all right? You still want your woman to, to, look, to look good for you, all right? And you still want him, your man, to look good for you. And you know, when you're courting someone, most time people think when they, they throw the word courting out, they're thinking about, well, that's me trying to get them. But throughout the whole relationship, you just got to... Remember, you still got to take them out. A lot of times, people, they forget that part. They just, just, they just come home every day and then don't do anything <clears throat> with, with your wife, with your girlfriend, with your mistress, with whoever you, you're dealing with. They just forget and get complacent. They so, want to feel like they, they, they are still, people, they want to still feel like you still, they still matter to them. They don't feel like they matter anymore. That's why they, they throwing that out because they, their significant other make them feel that way that person's not taking them out if they was taking them out on a date at least once at least once a month they wouldn't even say they wouldn't even make the argument but because that person ain't there they taking them for granted ain't doing nothing with them at all they feel like i'm not being quoted all right so i gotta gotta pull your card on this one brother um you cannot give up the on the first night and then complain to somebody about being courted you can't get I'm, the about, I'm telling you what they're saying. Okay, okay. Now, all right. So I missed it a little bit, but well, I'm talking about as in like this is your your woman right here now. Now they talking about the steps as far as okay, you, you're not girlfriend or boyfriend. You, you you don't got no title or nothing. Yeah, you just they they think that okay, boom, he the, let me get in here right. They the first night, right? Mm -hmm. And all the all the things he did to and get her, he's no longer doing. No, That's because you no. you're, you're no longer. No, let me stop you again. You see, I, I think you out the loop on how okay. these young people think. Nobody's courting anymore. These people are meeting. However they meet, social media, dating sites, yada, yada, yada. They're having, the females are giving up the, mm -hmm. giving up the box. That's because that's what they want to do, right? Mm -hmm. And we're good with that, right? I'm good with that. But after they give up the box, now they're looking at you like what's next? Yeah, well now you have to court me. Well, you, have well, to take me, you heard the new stage, the phrase. You have to take me on a proper date. Yeah, but but now I don't have to do all that now. All right, because if that <clears throat> if my end goal, if my goal was just was just a hit, right? You don't know what that man goal was you for. So you got that, that woman. She has more. She expect more from this man. He could have just wanted. If he wanted to do all, all them things and still court you, he's going to do that then, because that's what he wants to do. He look at you more of just a sex object. Apparently, he, he that's all all he sees in you. And now I've done it before. All men done that. You done what? Hit and then don't call the girl no more. That's all I wanted. That's what. That's all. All it was. Okay, so the fact that the females don't understand that. But they think that no, you get a tear first, then you demand to be courted. Remember, I don't know. How old are you again? Thirty nine. Okay. So for my generation, I know for a fact you're supposed to put nigga. You have to put in the work for for a good chick. You got to put the work in to get the. You got to court her to get the. Right. Some of them, yeah. 
I mean, yeah, of course. I, I, mean, I mean, come on, we all know. Let me be clear. Though. Let me be. Like, we're, we're talking best case scenario here, right? So, but you court to get the pussy. Mm-hmm. That's the reward after the courting. Now, correct. I want you that the courting should continue. Correct. But if but, it doesn't continue, that's all. I, I, that's all I wanted from you. But why are the females giving up the box without the courting? And then demanding to be treated like a high level woman when you're not acting. If you're giving me the box with no effort, okay, that's your worth right there. You're giving me the box with no effort. Why now are you demanding me to treat you like a woman that you didn't make me treat you as in order? Cause remember, what's the prize for us? The pussy. It's the pussy. It's not the woman. It's the pussy. They're having a relationship with you is not the prize. The prize is fucking you. That's the prize. Mm -hmm. Women, y'all should know this. That's the prize. So why are these young... What's wrong with these young females? What you think was wrong with these young females where they're not understanding this? Like, the prize is the sex. The prize is not... Okay, you. so she may look at it like, this is what I want. And this is this is, and this is is what it's going to take. This is what he wants. This is what I want. And her mind's already made up that it's going to go further. His mind, it's not going to go no further. Now, it's your fault that you didn't identify that early on. Or you just fell for his his BS. You choose the wrong. Maybe you keep on looking at the wrong type of man that's not for you. Maybe that's the issue right there. And you're going after the same person. If you keep coming with, coming with the same problems, the same roadblocks, maybe it's your selective or the men that you that you like. But again, I think my question is why you think these women are having these problems? Like, okay, so now it's ain't this ain't new age problems. So mm -hmm. I was talking to my young boy. I said, look, God, look, a lot of the things that you're telling me now. It was. It's been going on for centuries. Centuries. Like I, I, I've done that. Like, like I say, and, and it, to me, it's it's a, it's a simple question. It's a simple answer. You wasn't. You, you you are not her. Point blank. You're not her. What does that mean? Jerry, you are not the one for him. You're not the one for me. Mm -hmm. That when I did that, you you ain't you ain't her. You I you just. Oh, I see. You're not yeah, her. Okay. Yeah. You're not. You're not her. You're you're, you're you're not that. You're not that woman that you think you are. You just another another number. Yeah. Now, now, you didn't identify that early on. She didn't identify that early on. So she wanted to know why I'm not getting courted. Because it's, it's simple. You're not her. I don't. You got to explain why that person is not her. And, you can't, and she can't identify why she ain't her. Damn. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I, you get what I'm saying? No, like, no, yeah, I, I, I just saying. left it right there, like that. I can't explain that thing for you. <laughs> but, but but what's missing? What's missing? Okay, so like for me, right? My understanding of females came from just having conversations with my dad. That's number. That's number one. That's first and foremost. Then it was trial and error because I, a lot of young people, a lot, I can say like a lot of men, are afraid to get they uh, uh they they're feelings. afraid to earn their stripes. They afraid to get their feelings hurt. They have to understand like in order to understand dating and how to date and you know actually how to maneuver and be and cope with what, what as a man you know as a man you you're the hunter gatherer so you're the one that's going to take a lot of the blows. Mm -hmm. A lot of young guys don't understand it because they're not getting told this by the older guys. They ain't getting told this by dudes our age. Mm -hmm. About look now all my dudes that's younger than me they know I school them all the time like look this is. This is what happens. Like, you're going to get embarrassed. Like, you know, like, okay. I tell dudes all the time. You have to be willing to make a fool of yourself. How you feel about this? You, you have to be willing to make a fool of yourself to get the woman you want. How you feel about that? That makes sense to me. Because that's like, okay, me having flowers delivered to you. Right? Or me just carrying flowers to you. Just giving flowers to you. Now, someone may look at you. You look silly. You go you going to the store and you're buying flowers. Let's say you go to you go to the grocery store and you get you go and buy, buy them flowers. Mm -hmm. how, how you look to everyone else, that's in your your back, your mind, damn, this nigga buying he's he like a simp, he buying flowers. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? You be looking at like a fool right there. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you love this person or you try and get this person or you trying to you know what I'm saying? You 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 doing something for someone else. You know, that's just you that's that's that could turn into love. You know, that's that's one of the aspects of being in love and finding love is making yourself a fool. Because love only care about love. And then when you or, or you just trying to or whatever it is that you're looking for, you just try and get this woman or whatever. But if you that's just you 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 got you gotta drop your guard and you don't you don't care about what people think. But at the end of the day, in the back of your mind you're gonna think, damn, I look silly right now. No, you, are you going to think that? I, so Okay, so I've never 
No, no, no. I'm saying that person, he, he may think that. I never felt like that. I just feel like this is just, just me. I felt like oh, I'm happy. If I'm getting some flowers, I'm happy getting you flowers. In in order to get the one, fellas, in order to get the woman you want, you have to be willing to make a fool of yourself. Now, and here's why I say the word fool of yourself, because in the eyes of another guy. Correct. You're going to be looked at as a fool, but that guy's going to be sitting on the sideline while you are making love to this woman, this fine woman that you that he wanted that he can't get because he got too much pride. Mm -hmm. You follow me? Correct. And I think now, why is being chivalrous? Why is being the right kind of guy looked at as simping nowadays? Why is it? Because they may look at it like they don't have to do all that shit. Who? Whoever. Other men don't have to be able to do, don't do that shit. Right? So they don't have to work hard. Right? But they're not working hard because they really don't have value, the same value you want. Mm. Say it again. Say it again so they get hit. They don't have the same value you want. That's why they're not working hard. They don't have the same what? Value. And themselves with the woman. Both. I explain. You could. Okay. So when I say both of the man, the man he may not he may not try hard to do that extra stuff, go that extra mile because he may think like he may not even get her right anyway. He don't he don't have a chance. So I may get these flowers for her and I'm gonna look stupid now. Mm -hmm. You're not valuing your your work after that you're gonna put inside this, so you're not even gonna try so anyone else that does it. You, they they get like a simp. Now, when it comes down to the woman, you may not find that woman that you want. And you don't have the value for that one. You know, you, you never, you never, you never found her. You, you are still searching. So therefore, you didn't get that feeling like, damn, I want her, I, I love her, or I miss her. She's gonna be mine. She's, she, that's my forever right there. You don't, you haven't found that right there. So you don't know what that feel like. So to you, anyone doing it, that's a sin. Okay, so if you, if you, if you follow the Shakespeare. Plays and stuff like that. All the old, old, old stuff. You know, Siri, I don't know if you ever heard of Cyrano de Bergerac. Mm -hmm. It's a movie uh, called Roxanne that came out in, I think, the 80s or the 90s uh, by the guy with the long nose. That's based off of a Shakespearean uh, play called Cyrano de Bergerac, where Cyrano was an ugly guy, right? Who had the gift of gab. Mm -hmm. But so, but there was a there was a handsome guy that wanted a girl. He didn't have to get for gab. So what he used to do was go to Cyrano, and Cyrano was standing in the bushes. And while the guy would stand out at the balcony and, send, and, and, and tell poetry to the woman, Cyrano would be in the bushes telling him what to say. So basically, the girl was in love with Cyrano, not realizing. She's seeing this handsome guy, but she's in love with him based off of what he's being told by an ugly guy that she can't see. That makes mm -hmm. any sense? I heard that before. So, but at the end of the day... The old school plays, the old, you know, the old fashioned plays are told where men, like, you know, you would, remember the thing with it, you would, you would take your coat off and lay it on the puddle so the lady could stand over top of it. Yeah. That's, that's the guy that's going to get the girl he wants. Mm -hmm. Now, the question is, is that guy going to get played by, by the girl he wants? He, he definitely can. Or what's, two things, what's, the, what's the odds of him getting really appreciated for his work? That's a that's a hard one, man. It's it's a fifty fifty chance that happened. So so you as a person, are you are you down to be that dude that's gonna be that? You gotta take risks. Okay, All right, All right. Before you can get it out, you gotta take risks. Mm -hmm. In order to get the woman you want, you have to be willing to make a fool of yourself. Now we're not talking about going out being a blind fool, right? I'm not talking about that. I'm talking like okay. I knew. I remember a friend of mine told me I, that I he no he didn't tell me I was, but he said. But now, I told him how a girl ignored me for 30 days. I sent her one text a day that said, have a great day, and one phone call a week. So I gave this girl, what's that, uh, uh, what's, what's a 20? No, 20, well, I, gave, I texted her six days. So 24 texts and four phone calls in the whole, in the whole 30 days. He told me, he said, that's press. I ain't doing that. And I said, bro, I ain't spent no gas and no money. Right? And after the 30 day, after the 28th day, she texted me and said, hey, text me. And I texted her. I, you know, she said, call me. And I called her. And I said, what's up? She said, so you want to go out, huh? Right? I said, yeah. And she let me know that she did that. She wanted to see how much I wanted her. I already knew that. But if my pride had gotten away, I wouldn't have sent them, them you know, them, them 26 texts or 24 texts and them, and them phone calls. It ain't cost them nothing. It ain't cost me a goddamn thing. Other than 
if if he but if he if he if he would have stopped a week into it, no, this she would. No, I did it. Okay, okay, yeah. but regardless, if you'd have stopped a week into it, you she would have thought this nigga is simple. This this nigga is is, is silly. At the end of the day, I got the girl and the pussy. Yeah, yeah, but I'm I'm saying, right. let's say if you stopped early. If you didn't keep on going down that path, she would it would have been the negative thoughts to you because mm -hmm. you didn't put you didn't risk it you didn't risk it enough you just tried the bare minimum and made the bare minimum going to make you look silly. Now right. when you get results, you don't look silly at all. Mm -hmm. So 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 if, if you don't get the results, you look like a fool. And if you do get if you do get the results, then you good. To that, if you if you're looking at it from another person's eyes, you know, what I'm saying that that person that don't that don't care. About you, girl. right? See me. I look at it as no matter what, no matter what the outcome, whether you get the girl or not, it's part of the game. Man. Yeah, it's part of the game. It's, it's like when I when I when I when I was younger, uh, a cousin of mine told me that um, we, we you know how, how, you, how you go to the ball and you try you try to try to get numbers, All right? And I came back with no numbers. Like why you get the numbers? I was scared. I was shy. And he broke down. And he's like, look, bro, if I go to this joint, I holler at 10 girls. And I only get three of them? That's three different bitches he ain't have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. 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 So he, he, got told, yeah. he got told no seven times. But he's not going to even remember them seven girls. He's right. going to remember the three and then maybe the one or two of the girls he actually hit. Right. Hey, do me a favor. Move your chair forward. I want to make sure we hear all you. Yeah. Yeah. So... Like it's it's the numbers game. Once you once you grasp the concept of the number game, the nose doesn't matter to you, and you don't care what that person thinks. If I look silly next, they're not gonna remember you after that. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it, it, is it a numbers game or is it a see? For me, I, I look at it as a pride. It's just an issue of pride. If you have pride, you will. I'm not saying you won't get girls you like. I think, you, but 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 you won't be a you won't be a certified Mac. I think it goes hand in hand. Then. The numbers because, and, the, and the pride. Yeah, yeah. Because once you once you end up doing, because the pride is going to stop you from playing the numbers game. Mm, right. Okay. Okay. Right. So, but once you get over the, over the pride, the, the numbers game is is on, is on your side. Right. See, I never even looked at the numbers. I just looked at it like you said. The pride. Like you're not thinking about the, the notes at, yet, all. That, that, at that, all. That doesn't matter to you. It at don't. All. It, the numbers that the don't notes don't matter. Don't matter whatsoever. You don't care about that. If you get told no a hundred times. And you get told yeah one time by that bad joint that you wanted. The other ninety nine bad joint told you no. It you cancels, don't even care you about it. Care, it cancels it them don't out. even matter because within the day, especially if y'all go at long at long long term. Who was on ninety nine joints that told you no? Right. Your prize right here, your trophy right here beside you. Right. So that's all they're gonna see. So is is with the women? Is it what you think is bad toothless from the women? Is it like the you know I'm big on daddies not being around because I'm just trying to. I was talking to a girl over there. She's 21, and I was I seen her at work. We she talked. We talk. I'm gonna say once a week. Cool little girl, right? She likes to play video games, and she just told me I was telling her the situation. I said, let me ask you a question. What is up with? I said my little young boy. He's 24, and he's telling me this girl is tripping, talking about she he needs to take her on a proper date. But, but I'm like he done gutted her. She she done got you know he done gutted her. Like he been smashing for a while. And I'm like, that's that she hustling backwards. You're supposed to demand all this before you give up the box. And she said, well, no, he's supposed to do that if he wants to keep her. And I said, that's what y'all don't understand. Once we get the box, we don't need to keep you no more. Well, well, well it could be she didn't. She got she got in her feelings now. I mean, it's possible. And now she in her feelings. She wanted to grow the more. So what? So she ain't settling for what 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 she what she was getting at first. So she want him to get in get in his bag. And go ahead, but it's not that happening. Out. That's what I'm saying. I'm just trying to figure out, well, ladies, why? Once you give up the box, we can leave. Yeah, it's, it's, it's happily. Not, it's not going to happen unless he view you the same way you you view him. Yeah, and and, and if he got the options, why why is he going to do that? Especially if he still he's still playing the game. If he's still playing the game. Shit, why am I going to spend money on you? I ain't hit this thing over here yet. I gotta spend money on her, and she make me work for it. Right. I actually like her. Right. So I'm, I got. I, I don't got money just to waste on you. She may not. He may not have that money to waste on you. Right. Because he. He. Because he, he. a young dude. Right. Mm -hmm. So he may not have the extra money just to waste on any girl. But he already hit you, so he can cancel you out. He don't care if he see you or don't see you. This young right here. Shit. I ain't never hit her yet. 
It's, got it's, it's going back to the numbers game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you better say. I mean, she make me work for it. She don't got money just to bird on you. All right, so a couple weeks ago, I was on Instagram, and this girl said, now, I don't even do social media. I, don't, I only have an Instagram for this interview thing I'm trying to do, and I think it's, I hate social media. Never been with it. Too old. I'm just never been with it. You know what I mean? But everybody says, oh, you're going to have an Instagram, and I try, and it's corny. But I came across a video where a girl was talking about, she met up, she met a guy at the gym. He, he gave, she gave him her number. He asked her to go to the movies. She declined. So I think the next day they talked, he asked her to meet her for tacos. She said to him, I'm going to keep telling you no one unless you take me on a proper date. I replied, she said, so guys, let me know if I'm being, if I'm doing too much. And I said, well, we have to establish what, what in your mind is a proper date. I said, in my date, the movies was a proper date. What's a proper date? Now, what she could be saying is spending money right now a proper date could be he can go he can go any, any, even cheaper she worried about the, she worried the wrong thing because a proper date could be something some simpler than that but let's go on a picnic and that and that's 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 the best proper date you can really have because it's nothing for us to do but talk and communicate we're sitting there right here having a picnic we're talking mm -hmm. and that ain't really cost you nothing but the shit you already had now so when I when I hit her and back, she tell you no about that she only she 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 valuing dollars. Well, her thing was she said that the movies was she so she declined the movies, and she said because how I, I like to get I want to get to know I want to be more comfortable first. Now remember in our day the movies was a fucking that was like remember Cheesecake Factory was up at Echelon and the movie was just standard type of shit right. Mm -hmm. And she said well you, how can you get to know somebody over a loud movie and I'm like uh, the ride to the movie that the, 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 the movie the ending of the movie don't have to be the end of the date yada 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 well the girl came back at me and was nasty she's probably like 20 24 she was nasty calling me you bozo you this why and, I, and that's why I said picnic because all we're doing is talking and enjoying the movie the food that I, I prepared for but I don't know if these these people of today's world they don't even they don't even they don't they don't value conversation so she's saying she wants to have conversation but when she asked for feedback on Instagram we end up she ended up Calling me, I, I don't even feed into it. I just said, okay, that's fine. Um, but, but, cause she said, well, the guy, all these things that he invited me to do were already pre planned. And I said, what does it matter if it was pre planned or not? He didn't know he was gonna meet you. He didn't know you was gonna give him your, your number. So if, if I'm going to, if I'm gonna get tacos today or tomorrow, I wanna go to this new little Mexican spot to get some tacos, and I just happen to get your number today and I'm going, I'm gonna say, hey, you wanna come with me over here? Why is that not a proper date? I didn't know I didn't know you was gonna give me a number. I didn't know I was gonna bump into you or walk across you. I may have seen you at the gym, but who says that you were gonna tell me yes? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to understand, like I said, I do hear what you're saying as far as I'm saying um uh dollars. But what's up with these young people talking about proper dates? What the fuck? Where do you think it's coming? This prop I wanna be courted and I wanna be taken on a proper date. But every woman who's saying this has already gave the guy the pussy. I'm trying to understand this. You already give it. She already, she already fucked the guy? No, not this, not this particular right, girl. Right, but your right, average right. female that's complaining about proper dates and being courted, they've already given up the pot of gold. Yeah, or, or, or what they could do is talk to their friend and see and see what their friend is man is doing. And that that man making you look stupid, looking silly. Why ain't why you why you ain't get that? You that that that's that, that what you want. I want that too. But you ain't find him though. You, you but, over there finding them, but uh, but again, the question is, nigga, you 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 having a, you drinking, you having a hot sauce? Understand what no, I'm I understand what you're saying, saying, but you're asking me to answer a question that's coming down from inside of a person when really they didn't identify that they just not her. These mics ain't getting your vocals like I want, man. Lee, come come forward, man. I, I want you. No, you don't have to. Sit like that, but I just want to get your vote. It's, it's like you're not coming like I want to come. But anyways, um, pause. That's just sound gay as shit. But um, <laughs> but yeah, but yeah. They just they don't yeah. come point blank. I said that you 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 just not her for him, or just not her. And you know you just. But again, as a man, since we talking from the outside looking in, when since when did giving up the pussy first and demanding respect second become normal? That's the question. Yeah, that, that that's not. That's the question. That's that's not that's not going to happen. That that's not gonna happen unless I looked at you as someone sent something else. If my if if I if I pre sometimes now men they do 
pre prejudge already make up in their mind that this woman's gonna be my wife already. Oh, this is gonna be my girlfriend already. How, how long does that take? How long does that take? But that's damn. You mean you really? That's all an individual. I was told by a female over 20 something years ago, she said that a man knows within the first two months whether he wants to marry a woman or not. How you feel about that? I can say that. I, I can I can see if, if a man can think this is long long term now versus if the man believe in marriage or not, or think he may not ever want to get married, you know. But but I can see if within two months time frame that he, you know what, I would say even less than that. I know, I would know if I spend enough time with you, if this is going to be some, something else, some, something more. But there are, are have been cases that people feel like they don't even know this person. This going to be my girl. What about them? Will your phone vibrate on my in my mics, nigga? Yeah, that, 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 that's going that's going to be over there. But yeah, that, that's going to be they they can just feel like that that, that that's that's going to be there. there and go. You got to push it off the camera. Yeah. That's them. They might already made up. They don't even know that person. Then when, and then when they do make the decision, they feel realize, damn, this person is just a headache. You talking about if they do it too fast? Do it too fast. They realize that person is a headache. Okay, but 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 if that's okay, so I'm gonna agree with her because when she said it, I remember saying to myself, you can't, you do, you do get a vibe. You yeah, get you get inter, a vibe. You get an inner but, inner feeling. Mm -hmm. If you're around a woman, like you know what, I would marry this woman. Yeah, if you're around them long enough, but if you just meet them. Two months is, you don't think that's too quick? I think two no, months is a good time. No, no, that, that's, 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 that's a good time. But like I said, they, they, you, you can say some people say that happens sooner. But two months is, <sighs> uh, it, it, imagine someone who never, if this is the best looking girl you ever had. That's a weak nigga. If, if you married a yeah, broad yeah. Off, off, yeah, that's a weak Yeah, nigga. but I'm saying you made your mind up. I'm talking about someone that made their mind up off break. This is the best looking girl they ever had. And they look at it like, Shit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna marry her. And you, man, your mind's already made up just off the appearance. You don't get, you don't know this woman at all. They are there. You, you can you agree that there are cases like that? Any, yeah, I I can agree that any now, man. Brandon, who, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, right. you wouldn't do that. No, not a chance. <laughs> but in, any man who feels I'm gonna marry her based off of her appearance. Now, if you if you are around her because of how she makes you feel. When you get that internal feeling that says, you know what, I would marry her. Yeah. I'm with that. When the whole, oh, this is the baddest you ever had, and, and and the box is good, and I'm going to marry her, then you find out three weeks later. You may not even get the box yet. You just, you, just, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, I may right, right, even right. get the box. He just, I'm talking about a man that's looking at her off the appearance. Mm -hmm. And he made his mind up off break off just the appearance side of it. Right. I mean, that's right. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a, like I said, it's a lot of guys who do that. Um, um, yeah, I, I think I think athletes do that. Exactly, athletes and rappers they marry like vixens and chicken heads and no good bras because of the way they look. Mm -hmm. And I haven't figured that one out yet. Because at the end of the day, they can they can take you for, put put the baby in and she can take you for half. Yeah, give but, me half, Eddie. But but what it does, but but yeah yeah. But, <laughs> but what it what it lets me know that which I try to tell guys a lot of times too as well is is people put celebrities. Athletes, they act like they're not regular people. Like, like prime example, let's talk about Kobe. Kobe and Vanessa. You know where Kobe met Vanessa? In just high school, right? No. What? On the set of a music video. She was a video chick. She was a video victim. So who did he meet? Oh, that was Brandy. He he knew in high school, right? No, he went to the prom, prom with her. Right? I don't know what I don't know where they met, but they, I just know they was the, the same prom, age. He went to the prom that. with her. But it's like people keep forgetting. He met Vanessa on the set of a music video. And I remember I always told people I thought that was strange because for me, if I'm if I'm speaking for myself at the age of 18, if I'm an NBA star I'm making millions, he was already eclectic. He grew up in Italy. He could speak Italian. But I'm not meeting no chick on no set of no music video. I'm trying I'm trying to expand my horizons even more. You feel me? But what I'm if, if but at the same time, you are Kobe Bryant, 18, because he got drafted in 18. That's what I'm right? saying. Right? He, he who drafted him because cause he got traded to Lakers. Yeah, you right. Who did draft Kobe? Charlotte Hornets. Did yeah, he, he got drafted. Yeah, Hornets. yeah, 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 yeah. And he got he got he got traded him. Right. Now, granted, he never played for them, but he got right. traded immediately. Right. You know. But 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 regardless, you're you're 18 years old. That regular shit that me and you talking about, it don't apply to you. That's what I'm thinking. If I'm a millionaire, right? Yeah. That 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 doesn't ever and everyone knows who you are. So he's not going to be able to experience the trial and error that me and you go through. 
but he's mm, different. Okay, okay. He he's he he's different than them athletes or rappers that get famous later on. He to him he, that's a bad example. He got famous at eighteen. So I'm saying no. But okay, so he, it's, it's, it's it's different. It's it's, it's, it's different because anyone that they meet him, he he will never know. Are they in it too for me, or just because of who I am? He will never know that. Okay, so man, okay, I'm glad you said that. Let me ask you a question. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking, right? It's a catch twenty two. I think it's a double edged sword. I'm looking at it from my standpoint. From a, I'm a regular person. From then to now, I'm just a regular person. So I'm thinking if I'm a millionaire and I have the ability to go travel the world and meet all types of women, am I is, am I going to fall in love with a woman from a video set? But then at the same time, you have to remember he's still, at the, which is the point I was trying to make in the beginning. People keep forgetting that celebrities are just regular people. They're regular money. people. They're just regular but people. But he didn't feel like he he never experienced a trial and error. Of people that how you figuring he went to high school he went to Laura Mary whatever the fuck that he went. doesn't count he, what do you mean he was a because, superstar because 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 at in high school you didn't mature your mind didn't mature yet as a, as a, as a, for for a man yet right do would you were you were you, you, you agree on that uh, you didn't you didn't experience enough in life okay you know what I'm saying so so at eighteen granted you had you had girls you didn't have a woman though nigga he ain't married a woman he married a video chick but you know you know. At, at, at 21, 20, 23, 24, you know what this is going to feel like. You know what this is going to, if this girl really into me or she she just playing me or you're going to know what it's like maybe get your heart broken or whatever, you, or the girl just using you or what what's love going to actually feel like. Is that 21? You're saying it's at 21? No, nah, I remember. And then you go up to 23, 24. No, no, I'm asking. You said 21. Even 20 is even better than 18. 18, you, you still need, that's high school. It's puppy love. Okay, okay. That's puppy love. Okay, so 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 now Kobe and I are the same age. Uh, he might got he. Do I have him by you? Be the same age? I'm trying to, but we're me, Brandon. We are the same age. So mm-hmm. I remember since we were the same age when when I found out who he married or who he was lo- loving. I remember at that time saying, "Damn, Kobe, like you you couldn't have found a, a a." And this is no disrespect to his wife. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, damn, bro, like with all this opportunity. You took it to fall in love with a video chick. LeBron. What about him? Who did he marry? His house was sweet or something? Exactly. So what point are you making with that? I'm confused. The difference is she knew him already. Okay. Right? So he experienced child and error at a younger age because he got drafted 18 also. Get the fuck out of here. What are you talking about? He, he experienced child and error too. He experienced child and 18-year-old child. Did not need 18-year-old child, but, he, but it was the same person though. They actually grew together. Okay. That's, that's that's the difference. They actually grew together. It was like shit. They experienced in life together as shit is progressing, going on. That's the difference right there. With him marrying his his woman, is he knew her. Both of them, both 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 people was drafted eighteen. Yeah. Both of them, cause me 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 and LeBron the same age. You you and Kobe the same age. Me mm-hmm. and LeBron the exact same age. You know. Mm-hmm. So I don't remember when he got drafted. You know. So that's 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 the difference in the woman right there. What you he, mean cause, cause, because 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 she wasn't she wasn't around. Go for it, man. I'm gonna hear you. I just don't like this. Audio. She wasn't LeBron wife. They was she wasn't on celebrity sets. She wasn't what on celebrity sets. She wasn't on. She's a regular sets. chick. She's a regular chick. She's a regular chick. She's she's a regular chick. Chick. And at the time, he was a regular guy. That they first they first start dating, right? When, when we don't know because he wasn't regular. It's, it, neither one of them was regular people, but LeBron was more celebrity than celebrity. Kobe was. Mm-hmm. LeBron, and he stayed with his high school sweetheart, Kobe. Okay, so I'm not dissing him for going to the prom, prom with, with, with with Brandy. And like I said, I, Vanessa could be a great girl. It's just the fact that she was a video chick, and I'm just like. I don't, I don't. I just me. If if I know I'm a millionaire and I can go to everywhere, I don't know if I'm you, limiting myself to a video chick. And and you, and you know what? She didn't leave him when he when he when he his ass got caught cheating. Why? So, because she needed that bread. No, 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 no. She she could she she could have collected that money then, couldn't she? She could have, yeah. Yeah. So so that that right there it says what about her? She wasn't there just just for the money because she could have took the money. Right, right there and there, and just and done it without him. She already got his money. She already got it. She in his bag now. Okay. She in his bag. So you really can't say that it's all about the money for her because she had an opportunity just to grab his bag and roll out. So for 
if a uh, she didn't do it. If a woman married to a regular guy like you and I catches him cheating, she don't leave. What does that say about her? And nigga, why the fuck do I hear music, man? Turn that shit off, man. The fuck kind of shit you on, bro? That shit. <laughs> all right, all right. Come on, man. All right. Now the question is, what, what, what if a me, if me, you, if a man, ever man, regular guy get, get caught. If a regular guy get caught cheating, and a woman stays. Mm -hmm. What does that say about her versus a rich guy getting caught cheating and a woman staying? Is it? Is that? Is is? What does that mean? It doesn't mean anything. Because I mean, you, because you said because she stayed a minute, she wasn't there for the money. Is that what that really means? For him, all, all, all because of in the back of the back of your mind, if if, if you if you were a celebrity and you get married later on after you become a celebrity, you don't know is this girl ready for you or not. In the back of your mind, I, 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 I honestly think that I would think, damn, she was for me or for the for the money. How you gonna know that? You're right. So if a woman stays with you after you cheat, what is that? In your in your opinion, what do you feel that means? She just forgive you. Okay. I mean, she just. I mean, that that's all. In, like I said, that's another individual thing. If you can forgive someone cheating, that that that's on that's on you. Some people do, some people say you cheated one time, done. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't trust you, and you can't. They may feel like they can't build up the trust back again. Some people feel like once the trust is broken. It's, it's over and done with. What you gonna do now? We got nothing. We, if we can't trust each other, that's how some people feel. Your girl, your girl, you found out your woman cheating. What you doing? You leaving, nigga? Stop playing. Ain't I already right, did that before my first marriage, yeah, right? You gonna, I did it. My you, gonna, you gonna flip a table over and you gonna leave, right? It all depends on. on Stop lying. No, nah, it all, it all, no, no. See, what I'm talking about as far as it depends on flipping the table over. <laughs> flip the table. It all depends. Is, is, is there a table there? When, when did I find out? <laughs> Am I driving? Am I in the car? Yeah, you, you, yeah. But you're leaving, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm leaving. So why do, why do men leave but women can stay? Why do women leave and, and No, why do men leave? Men can't handle when they girl too, nah, nah, but when a woman stays. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let me hear this corny so, shit. What, what what what's happening when a man have sex with a woman? You tell me, brother. He's penetrating, right? Okay. He's penetrating. Now, what's going on when he when he's penetrating to that to her to her pussy? I don't know. It's either it's either expanding, or if, if the man is bigger than you are, it's it's expanding, right? If it ain't, then you ain't gonna know. But regardless, your shit been tampered with, right? Mm-hmm. And you and you be able to feel the difference. That man is mine. He can feel. He can feel the difference. He's wondering, hey, is he? Is how was you moaning? How was you sounding? It's playing it back in his mind. Yo, especially if you're doing new shit now. Who told you that? You wasn't doing that shit with me early on. You wasn't making making them sounds. So now now when a woman cheat, that's what happens. When I when a man cheats. You want to try new tricks on a new bitch? I don't cheat. So, <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking in general. I'm talking in general. Yeah. Uh, oh, now, 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 when a man cheats, all he's doing is wiping his shit off. He's going back. So, so you're telling me when a woman cheats. It's tampered with. It's tampered. It's, it's tampered. Is she, it, it, is she it, learning new tricks? She can learn new tricks. Hey, yo, suck this joint like this. Okay, so if a man cheats. He ain't, uh, okay, he, ain't trying, you, he ain't doing things with that woman that he can't do with his main girl. Now that I said learning, I said learning. Right now, now you, now you, you can agree with this. You had a woman, and you telling her how to go ahead and give you head. Can you, can you, can you hear that? I don't tell hey, them how to give me head. She never said, "Hey yo, spit on this joint." Hey yo, mm -hmm. hey yo, kiss, kiss my balls, suck my balls. You know, you never said none of that stuff to a woman. No, all right, I have. You know, I said, "Hey yo, kiss." I, 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 let me tell you what I do is I'm gonna let you do your thing. If it's not what I like, I don't. I don't. If I have to tell you, it's kind of odd to me. So I'm like, if I got to, I just. I find, think. I, I think. I think it's the way. It's the way you want. Hey, yo, hey, suck on my balls, man. You know, some. You know, get get them fucking gooch. You know, so it, it's certain. <laughs> it's certain shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, let me that, break this down. There. You the, said the gooch. The gooch. Yeah, I know what the gooch. Yeah, is. Yeah, the gooch is that. That's certain. You know, that right there is you teaching her how to how to go ahead give you head. 
Mm -hmm. Am I right? That, that's you teaching. Nigga, the, the, the Gucci ain't got shit to do with the head. But, go but ahead, it's still, bro. it's it's telling you when you give me, when you down there, this is every everything I want you, I want you to get. Mm -hmm. Right now, have you ever heard a woman saying, "Say the ABCs when you were lick, lick, lick by click or whatever"? You know what I'm saying? You know, no. you know, or, or just you never heard no woman teach another man, "Hey yo, suck on, suck on my, suck on my click, suck I on never had, I never had it happen to me. But you I don't even hear about women saying, saying that. Yeah, right? I know you talking about. Yeah, yeah. But you hear about, but you, but you have heard other men tell, say, you heard stories like AIDS. I've like heard I both, just say, right, vice versa. Yeah, yeah heard, but you heard. never heard from a woman saying, teaching a man. Yeah, I've heard both. You heard both? Mm -hmm. Damn. Because you got to So think. I never met talk, so I mean, I'm doing the right thing. That's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, you got you to think. A, 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 lot of, a lot of guys, okay, so my next thing, you have delusional women, but you at the end of the day, you have delusional people, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, when I, now when I, Put down on my nose, delusional women. It just coming from just just listening, just just sitting around during my daily, you know, when I'm working or when I'm just talking to people. I just listen to people who who overvalue themselves and don't realize that they can't provide what they require, right? Um, you know, on the side is what you're talking about. Yeah, you know, you know how it is. Like you hear the guy that tells the girl what he gonna do to her, and the whole time his sex is whack. You hear the girl that say, "Oh my god, my pussy's so good." Or I never heard. No, I've never had no complaints. And you saying to myself, "Like you must be dealing with whack dudes because you're, 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 you're yeah, you're you're lacking. You're not you're that you're lacking. You are you are not her in the bedroom. Yeah, right. right. I had that experience. Like right. damn, bro. I don't more, never more, time, sex you more times than none. More I, times I than would none. never. Have, this is the yeah. worst ever. <laughs> yeah. Well, so, but again. So you're saying that because a woman's been tampered with, and don't that, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm not going to let you slide on this Gucci shit either. But go ahead, though. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now I'm saying no, 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 being tampered because that that because the man right there he feel like his that's his prize. There, right? That's that's his pussy. Mm -hmm. His pussy's been tampered with. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why he leaves. Bruh, bruh. Hey, yo, I watched this clip before, right? And, and and the clip goes, she the dude found out his girl cheating. And his man is in the background. And and he 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 questioned her about it. She go ahead and say, no, nah, we didn't do it. He couldn't fit. What you mean he couldn't fit? I fit. But his dick was bigger. <laughs> oh, his man's in the background, like <laughs> It's his man's fucking. His man, no, his man's laughing. Oh, right. You know what I'm saying? Like he, he ain't gonna never be able to rebound from that. Yeah, yeah. But you know what I'm saying? What you mean he can't fit? I fit. Regardless, he he hurt right now because the man dude tried. It. He tried it. They couldn't finish. He's just like we tried, but we couldn't finish it because he couldn't fit. His shit was tampered with. He don't. Yeah, them walls is fucked up now. <laughs> <laughs> So a woman, a woman don't feel like her shit been tampered with. The, the man can have all the pussy in the world. His on, on, only thing that happened to him is if him catching an STD, right? He can get that. That's terrible. He can give it her, but very bad. But let's say that don't happen, right? Let's get out of here. So nothing's gonna happen to 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 his dick. His dick is not gonna expand or get or get or get smaller unless this is STD. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. This shit gonna be the same. That woman, she her walls to be gone. They could be. So you mean to tell me a woman can't look at that? You it's gave, gonna you, fuck up his mind. You gave he my, can't be able to handle it. Is it because men are weaker than women? Because my thing is when it come when it when it come when it comes to that, <clears throat> that's gonna that may that may hurt that may hurt that may hurt a man feeling right there. When it comes to that, yeah. That's a major double standard, though, don't you? Think? It is, but that's the society we live in. Is it a society or is it? You sure that's society? It's the world we live in. What are you talking about? That's, that's, that's like saying, why, why, does, why does this person get a job and I can't get a job? You know what I'm saying? And you got better credibility than him, but you know what? They Caucasian. Okay. So, basically, the woman's pussy getting broken into is Caucasian. And, <laughs> and, and the man, because he can wrench his dick off, that's an African-American. Exactly. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Nah, it's, it's. I mean, it's, it's double standard, but that's the world we live in, though. I'm not. I didn't say that. That I don't make these rules up. I don't make make this shit up. But that's how people feel. Are you? Am I, am I wrong? Do people not? Is this not a double standard world we live in? It is. It is. I, I mean, I think. I think women uh, come out the womb with double standards, in my opinion. Um, it, the the sexual double standard is corny to me. But I do think women come out the womb with double standards because I think women 
They find every way to justify their bullshit. Their relationship is double standard. But you may go ahead and break it down. All right. So. What is that noise? That's my phone getting alerted because of my watch. Is you heard a beep ping? Is it's it getting alerted? No, it's. Oh, that's upstairs. Sounds like something brown. Go ahead. Yeah, but okay. It's it's okay for men to do certain things, right? And certain things women can do, but mm-hmm. men but men can't do. Right? Women women go ahead and take care of if a woman taking care of all, all, all the bills, how is that man looking? You tell me. He's looking weak. Okay. He's not looking like provider. He's not looking like a man. But a man pays all the bills. Does that woman look weak? She don't, and not at all. See how you answer that? Mm-hmm. And when I when I ask you that question, you said you you tell me. Mm-hmm. But when I just ask you that when I was outside, right, right. You, you you just you, you answered it immediately. Right, right. You proved the point right there. Right. Just off of your response. Right. Right. True shit. True. True. So it brings us to, to my next thing, like uh, delusional women. I mean, I mean, not delu- ungrateful women. Women, you feel women, you feel relationships are double standard, leaning towards women, right? Mm-hmm. Do you feel your average woman is ungrateful? Women can be ungrateful, right? I wouldn't say the average because I can I can't speak on the average. But you know what? Average I can I can speak on average because average and just just as a whole, worth is me or someone else or whoever. You know what I'm saying? And there are some women that are, are grateful. You can just like a 50-50. You want to toss up on which woman you're going to get. Right? So, Nigga, so some women can stop be- you. I'm going to stop you. Bro. I'm going to let you feel I'm going to stop you. Nigga, you just told me. I'm trying to fix it. Nigga. We ain't <laughs> fixing shit. We ain't getting out of this. <laughs> you just told me that relationships are double standard. They are double standard. So you cannot tell me all of a sudden. They, they some Okay. Okay. Relationships. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Now, re- rewind. The question is. Go ahead, go ahead, let's start off because I, I agree, I agree with you. Go ahead. Since you feel that relationships are double standards, leaning towards women, mm-hmm. do you think more the average woman are more of them ungrateful or grateful, appreciative? See that now, now, now as, as I was about to go ahead and say is it's like fifty fifty because it depends on which which man that you're getting. Are you getting that provider man? Or you get a man who ain't worth shit. Break it down, nigga. I mean, so if so, okay. <clears throat> for instance, there are they are or there are some, some woman to go ahead knows. Okay, there's certain roles to play. Now, if both parties understand each role and they happy, it's, it's like it's, it's just like a contract, basically. All right. If I'm doing X, Y, and Z, and you're handling X, Y, and Z, then then that then is then is then it's fair value. But it ain't fair if the woman's doing what the man should be doing, and the man's doing what the people are gonna look at is different. But it should it shouldn't matter when it comes down to it. Like it's it's, it's okay for a man to be a house dad, right? No. It, no, no. I'm, it is it. Okay, that's what that's what you. Mm-hmm. There you go. Double standard right there. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. But, but see, but see, but there, there go the, 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 the double standard right there, right there, pointing out the double standard right there. Okay. The dad can't be the house dad. Okay. <laughs> he can't. The woman. Would you be a house dad? Sit at home with the kids while you're working. No, I'm not happening, bro. Okay, so how's that double standard? If you, you, I'm not going to do it. I'm not. It's not going to happen. That's not me. I'm not him. Okay. I'm gonna go to work every day. I'm gonna bust my ass and make sure you good. The kids, we got root for right here. So let me ask you a question. I'm going. I'm going to leave. A man can't be a house dad, right? You wouldn't do it, right? I wouldn't do it, but there are some men out here that are that are that are house dads, and and I don't discredit them for that. Do you, That's just not me. Do you look down on a woman who don't work and looks for a provider? If your goal is, I'm going to find that. Then yes, I'm look down on you. If you stumble across that, no, I don't. That's just how how they. You know the dice is rolled. Okay, so if you if you're looking for a meal ticket, you file. If you find a man that says, "Hey, baby, stay home. I'll take care of you." It's okay. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. That that's y'all the mutual contract. That's what y'all agreed on. 
But if you if you're if you if you're, if you're, I'm, gonna you're people, I'm gonna need people to answer that in the comment because I don't know about that one. Go ahead. If you're if that woman's goal is, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna find a man, he's gonna take care of me. If you meet a girl and she's going to work every day and you're gonna say, you know, nah, baby, don't go to work, and she's like, ah, she want she want a fence about it. That shows her she's actually care. She nah, she ain't trying to do all that, right? She actually care. Some women are like, hey, shit, I ain't doing shit. I'm gonna find me. I'm gonna find me that. That 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 high high value to man right there. That's my target. I ain't gonna work at all. He gonna put his babies in me. Would you prefer your woman don't work or work? I will prefer a woman not to work. All right, but that's that's if you know what I'm saying. That's me personally. I'm, I'm able. Everyone don't. They're not. They're not. They're not they're, they're, they don't got. They they not. They not. Cut from my cloth. They can't do what I do. Every man can't do what you do, right? You, you are your provider. You, your wife don't have to work, right? She don't have to. No, she don't. My wife don't have to work because she earned. Like I said this before, stay home rights. Yeah, exactly. She my, earned. My she wife don't earned have, the right okay, to stay okay, home. Okay, but, but I said, I said have to, as in far as the need. Like you, you're, you're good. If she don't, she do. You, 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 you're oh, good. No, 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 no. I'm no, talking, no, I'm talking no, financially. No, no, no. No, no. Some, some, some people financially. They need their 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 significant other to work, or, okay, else, they, they or, okay. or else the shit is not gonna get taken care of. They need that person, okay? Right? You you don't need you you you're with her because shit. I love you. No, no I don't. I'm no, not no, no, with no. you Make because stop. Let me stop you. All right. I prefer for a woman to work. All right, you prefer, yeah, but you don't I, need it though. I, no, I prefer for a woman to work. I don't respect women who don't like to work. Okay, whatsoever. My wife worked hard and took care of the kids. Let me, let me say. Let me go back. She worked hard before we had kids. She cooked, clean, rubbed my feet, did everything she was supposed to do. And then the kids came. She never changed. My wife didn't bait and switch when we moved in together. She didn't change up. She didn't tell me I couldn't go hanging out. She still cooked. She cleaned. She washed clothes. We had the kids. Nothing changed. She didn't go. Oh, you got kids. You can't go out. Nothing changed. She just kept on doing her job. And it, no matter how many more tasks got added to it, she never changed up. She never she didn't bait and switch. So when the opportunity happened where she her job asked her not to come back because she wasn't ready to go back to work after we lost a set of twins, which people have heard this before, we lost a set of twins, I told her, you don't have to go back to work. They think they hurt you because financially, we don't have to go back to work. But you're able to, though. I'm able to, but the key is, because of what she did for 14 years. She earned it. She earned it. I, I understand that. I'm going to say, say another thing. My wife earned half. If, if me and my wife got divorced, she earned half of whatever I got. She earned it. See, a lot of women can't say that. A lot of men. How many men can say if, if my wife divorced me? You know what? She actually earned half of what I got. My wife earned it. I could not I could never sit here and say I can't give her nothing because my wife put in that work. So that's why when my wife stayed home. When it was when she wanted to go back to work, I told her no because I was so used to her because she made such a great homemaker because my wife treats homemaking like a job. Like a job. It's stay, a fucking stay, job. Stay, now now look, staying a home wife is is, is a job if they doing what they if they doing post, the, if they doing what they're supposed to right. that, that, is, that is a job. That is a job, right? Mm. So and that that can be earned. You know what I'm saying? And if you're doing it right, it's earned. All right. So that is that is that is a job, but like like we was saying is, you, but you're still able to. Some men can have that exact same thing happen to them, like what you just said. But they don't make the money you make, right? But here's the thing, and they need that baby. They like they, 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 they like they are not gonna say they say baby, hey baby, what, hey we, we gotta keep looking for your job. Yeah, you, you gotta go. Yeah, get back out there. If my wife didn't behave the way she behaved from the time we got together until the time she stopped working, her ass would be having a fucking job right now. If, again, for me. She stays home. Yeah, even if I, even though I, even though she don't have to work, cause I, got, I make the money, I make enough money. Yeah. If she didn't do what she did, your ass going back to work. I, I, I'm not I, supporting. You. And, and, and I, I get that, but all, 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 all I'm acknowledging is, is that some men they just financially they're not, they're not able to. Mm -hmm. I got you. You know, say so they they just financially they 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 can't do it. They need that person. They not them. They not that one percent. They not that man that can provide for the whole family. Right. They can't do it. You know what I'm saying? So. They gonna be like, hey, babe, when are you going back to work? Yeah, well, we need to find a job. Oh, they say they say you can't eat, then you can't can't go there. Oh yeah, we need to find your another job. So now remember, for me, I prefer a woman to work. You prefer that your woman don't work. Why? Why? Mm -hmm. That's just the way. I go. I I feel like 
some sometimes you, you you having a job can take away from the home. Sometimes, depending on what's going on. But at the same time, uh, I can agree with what I just said and don't agree with it because I mean that may means that I don't have to work as much because both of us is two incomes coming in. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I, so it's, it is room for both of us to do extra shit around the house because you're not working as much. But I just. I want to. I, I always feel like the man. I'm going to do whatever man is not going to do. Oh yeah, you're going to replace me. Whatever man you going to get, he ain't. This is what he's not going to bring to the table. Right. I, I, I always feel like there is a con competition, and I'm gonna say or remember R.I.P. to the competition. I won't kill that shit. So there is no competition. Uh -huh. But it be. But but the but my, my deepest thing is my competition is the man I was yesterday. Uh -huh. So it's always competition. It all, I'm always gonna try to do better. I'm always gonna try to say, "Shit, nigga, you fell off." With your girl. In life. Okay. <laughs> if, I, if, I ain't, if I ain't better than the man I was yesterday, I fell off. I agree with you on that one. I, I believe in um at least at least once a like so my, on my birthday every year I do always make sure I evaluate because I want to be even if it's just one point better than I was the year before that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you said something earlier about date nights. Right, so you believe that date nights should always continue, yeah. no matter what. Yeah, it should, it should what, always continue. What if your girl's being ungrateful? Date what's, nights, what's what's date, date, date nights, date nights could be earned. You know, <laughs> that's the case. Okay, date, no, date, date no, nights no, could be earned. Now, this is why I'm asking. So my man, my man, he feel like his girl be on some bullshit. She don't be doing what she's supposed to do, right? But she, on her birthday, she wanted him to get her a hotel room. And he said, nah, motherfucker, you're not doing your part. He was told by a dude, I don't know about that one, man. You st it's still her birthday. I told him, I don't agree with that one. Birthday, Valentine's Day, in order for you to get the things that you're looking for out of this situation, you have to be contributing to the situation. I mean, that's... you. You can't be laying around. I'm not saying this is what she's doing, but you can't be laying around the house with your hand out, half stepping, but then expect me to acknowledge every your birthdays, Valentine's Day. You, I'm not going to come in the house showering you with gifts and everything you want when I know that when bill when 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 the, when, when the bills come, I don't know if you had the money or not. I don't know. I can look and say that you ain't doing everything you're supposed to be doing. How you feel about that? Well. That right there, part of yours imply to you, and part of it doesn't apply to you, because you said the bills. The bills always on you, because you, but you, but you also corrected it by saying your wife, other part she doing her part though, right? So, say it. Right there, when you said, "Hey, the bills ain't," are you gonna have your part? This not me. This is this him. Oh, this is him. Okay, yeah, remember okay, okay. this is him. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, if he go ahead, do. If if he if he say you know what I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do do anything, right? Because it, it has it has to be earned, right? Now let's just say when his birthday come around, right? He's doing everything that he that he that he that he's supposed to do. She and she may end up feel like I ain't doing shit for you because you didn't do shit for me for for my birthday. Let me, let me let me let me read let me rephrase the question. No, no, I'm just pointing out. I get what you're saying, that, but that, that, that's, if you that's, if you not this, if you if you don't feel you like gotta, your woman you gotta is prepared for that, you gotta be prepared for that. That's gonna happen. That's that, that door is opening. That that that's that door is opening. But is he? But is he? But is he? Is he wrong? I feel like okay. Is he? Is he wrong? I feel like if I'm doing something for you, it's because I want to do. It. I'm gonna do what I'm what I what I have to do regardless if you do it. Or not doing doing your part. I'm. This is who I am. If that's who you are, if you want, if you want to flower this woman with gifts, and shower, nigga, you shower. I'm fucking with you. What, what, what I say? Flower. <laughs> 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 anyway, you, if you want to shower this woman with gifts, <laughs> I like flower. Anyway, I'm yeah. anyway, if you want to shower this woman with gifts, that that's you. You're, you're not. You're not. You're not doing it for a reward, right? That's just who you are. As an individual, that's just you. So if you if you if you don't if you saying, hey, I'm not gonna do shit for your birthday because X Y Z is going on. Before you finish, let me ask you again. If you look at your woman and you feel like, guess what? 
you're an opportunist. You're not doing what you. Uh, you're not. You're not meeting me halfway with anything. You're just sitting back expecting me to take care of you because I'm a man. But I'm looking at you, and I, from what you show me, you show me that you're a lazy woman in my viewpoint. In my from my vantage point, from my eyes, you're a lazy woman. That's what I see. Okay, that's what you how, feel about your girl. But, On but, her but, birthday, are you going to get her the gift she wants? I, I, I get. I get what you're saying. Now, I understand what you said. You, but but to me. Because you don't agree when I'm going at it with this. That's why you try to come out. But no, no, no. I want to make sure you understand what yeah, you're saying. I, yeah, yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. Clearly right there. All right. All right. Now, to me, if this is who you are, then regardless, it doesn't matter of what you, how you're acting or how, how you portraying or whatever else going on with agreed, you. Agreed, agreed. You know what I'm saying? This is who I am. I'm going to still do X, Y, and Z. It doesn't matter. Now, if it come down to it, whether if I leave you or not, you know what I'm saying? Then if, if, I, if it's too much, if I feel like you're not doing your part, and I'm being taken, taken for granted, that's when you just leave. All right? But if not, I'm not going to allow you to change who I am as a person. Because if you if you go ahead and stop doing what, what, you, what, you, what you normally would do, you're allowing that person to dictate who the person you are, and that's not who you are. If, you, you're, if you're the person that will do shit just, just to the bottom, through, through, through your heart, and genuinely, you're not worrying about what that person do and don't do for you. I'm, I'm going to disagree on that, right? Because I do everything I do sincerely, genuinely from the bottom of my yeah. heart. But it's going to be earned. Then. But, but at the same time, I am observant of what I feel, if I feel that you're appreciative okay. about what I do, right? So if, you, I, if, if every time you got an issue, I give you my undivided attention, please be aware that I'm noticing that whenever something's bothering me, whether you're giving me your undivided attention. I'm not giving you my undivided attention because you're giving me yours. I'm giving you it because I feel that that's necessary for positive communication. Agreed. But I'm still aware that, you know what? You don't reciprocate what I give you. Okay. So there's going to come a time where I'm going to stop giving you my undivided attention, but I'm going to let you know I'm not doing this because you don't pay me no attention. Now, our relationship is most likely probably going to be over because once I get to that point, you feel what I'm saying? So I'm not going to keep giving you my undivided yeah, attention but, but like I said, when you're not I, giving me yours because I, cause now I'm, that's some weak ass shit. But go ahead. But but like but but like but like like I said, that's I also said then that's you need to realize when it's your when it's your, your time to leave then. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I also said though, don't let that dictate the person that the man that you are. So I'm ask you again. His, I'm going to keep on doing it if if it's me, right? And it's, and it's and it's and the birthday coming around, and I feel like I'm being ungrateful. The person is ungrateful to what I'm doing. That's the bridge I'm at right now. If that, if if that, I mean, if that's the bridge I'm at right there at at, the, at that moment, then I at that moment then I then I then I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave or I'm going to stay. I'm not going to let that change dictate on what I'm going to do. All right. That, that's if you understand what I'm saying. I'm not I'm not going to let that. Moment dictate shit, cause because once I end up get get in get into my give in to my to my feelings, right to my emotions, cause men think with logic, right? You will agree with that? Mm -hmm. Not emotions, right? Okay. That's me giving in to my emotions. I, I'm I'm right now. I feel like this person, they're not they're not doing their part. I'm, I'm emotionally bothered right now, right? And I'm not, and they're not doing their part. So I don't I don't I don't feel appreciated. So I'm not gonna do shit. So now I'm being petty. I'm not, and, and, and the fact that I'm gonna still stick around, I'm not gonna do nothing, but I'm gonna still stick around. So I'm being petty now, versus I'm not gonna do shit. And you know what? And I'm gone. That's just you just being. This is who I am. You're not changing. Though. I can see this is this is not it. You know what I'm saying? If I'm not, if I come to the point that I'm not gonna, I don't feel like doing shit to you because you ain't earn it. You are not for me then. If if you if you dictate the shit that the love that I want to give to you, and I feel like you know what? I'm gonna do less for you. You not for me then, because at, at, at any point in stage, you should always want to give the utmost to the person. You want to do whatever you can for that person, and if you feel like you're being tested, that damn, I don't want to do shit for that person. That person's not for you. Can you agree with me on that? Yeah, actually, yeah, I can agree with you on that. Um, yeah, don't now, let the person change you, bro. That that one. I'm 100% agree with you 
Then I'm hundred percent disagree with you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because as eloquent as you made it sound, as passionate as it sounded, it was some real shit. But the reality is, you're dating a person. It's gonna shock you. It's gonna catch you like a left hook when that person is not holding you down like you holding them down. What's that? What happened? That's that left hook right yeah. there. <laughs> it's, gonna catch you. It's, it's gonna it's gonna catch you like a left hook, and you might be. It might not be a deal breaker. You might be so in shock that, hold on, let me let me pull back and talk to you for a second and find out if I'm seeing this shit wrong. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So for a woman, I'm sorry, for a person, in my opinion, if your girl, we talking hypothetical, if you know your girl is doesn't work that hard, but she has high, high uh what's it what it was called? Expensive taste. Expensive, expensive taste. Expensive taste. Okay. Are you going to get her those expensive gifts? I'm going to. I'm going to give what I'm able to give. I'm what the not fuck go, does I'm, that mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I want you to know. Here's what I want you to do right now. I want you to give me yes to no questions. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Let me get you. Let me get you. If your girl See, does if not like have, to work. If, 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 they want, if they want, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If, if woman, you have expensive taste uh-huh. and she's and she's ungrateful, right? I'm not gonna go above and beyond as as far as let me work the because I can't afford. I mean, let, I'm thinking of concept. Let, let's say I can't afford that, right? Mm-hmm. So therefore, I'm gonna go ahead and work extra just so I can put that in the balance so I can I can afford it. I, why I'm gonna go? Why I'm gonna kill myself? Are you leaving her? If I'm not leaving her, why am I going to kill myself? Are you leaving her, nigga, is my question. Because I'm about to pull your fucking car. Because you just said three minutes ago that you're leaving. Because that leaving. means it's not the person I'm for leaving. you. I'm okay. leaving. But, 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 but what you're saying is, as far as, he's not doing nothing for her. No, no, that's not. No, no. No, no, no. I didn't say he's not doing nothing for her. I never said that. What I'm saying is, there was a situation where his girl, and we all cool. So let me be, let me be clear about that. You know what I'm saying? We all cool, right? She, no matter how much she does or doesn't do, she still expects the same. Okay. How realistic is that for a person? Shit it, changes, bro. They, they, they basis. If, 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 if you like, on her birthday, she wanted him to get, book me a hotel room. He like, for what? You, you need that money for something else, for a bill. Why am I going? Okay, to be- okay, but but see when I when I was getting that, you said expensive taste, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking of that hotel room. He can already afford that. That's, that's not that's not nothing extra. So I'm saying expensive taste can be something that's more lavish than that. Would, would you have got the room? If I if I if I got a concept of whether I'm doing anything, I'm not doing nothing for you. If I got to think about it, you know what I'm saying? I'm not doing nothing for you at all. If, if that's the case, if I got to think about it, if I have that thought process, I'm doing nothing. Now that's what I'm getting at it. Now, now I'm thinking of two different levels. As you, when you saying expensive taste versus the room, the room, the room could be affordable. Could be like, okay, that's nothing. That's chop change. Just the fact I'm not doing nothing for you, regardless, because if you don't appreciate shit, so I'm not doing that. I don't, I don't give a fuck. If it was a glass of water, you know, that's what you want for your birthday, and you don't appreciate the shit. You know what I'm saying? Why am I gonna do anything? You know. So I'm thinking that when you say expensive taste, that's just maybe something that's above my means. Okay, so let me so you get you know what I'm saying. Okay, so expensive taste to me means it's above her means. So if you a broke chick, nigga, a cheeseburger might be expensive taste because you might not be able to afford it. Anything that you can't afford for yourself to me is expensive taste. You see how clear that is? Okay, so I, I, I get, I get, I get, I get what you're saying. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So if you, if you want a room. I'm not. Gonna, you can't I'm not going to buy a woman anything she can't afford to buy herself. Okay. I'm not. Uh, okay. okay. That's just something I believe. Right. All right. Again, my wife can afford these things. Right. My wife worked hard. My wife held the house down. My wife holds the house down. It's no way my wife would be staying home had she not been that type of person. Had not. Had I not seen this in her, you're not staying home and living off my dollar. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So what I'm saying is, as an individual, if you dating a woman. And you feel like, guess what? What you the lifestyle you're looking for is one you can't even afford yourself. Are you letting your girl stay home? If if your girl want a two hundred dollar uh, hotel room, which is not even a lot of money for a person who got a job, right? But if you laying around the house sleeping all the fucking time instead of going to fucking work, bringing helping bringing some extra money in the house, no, I'm not gonna give you that room. I I, I agree with you, and I, I don't agree with you. This is the part I agree. Okay. I, I, this part I don't agree with you on because. 
I feel like if I'm with you and I had two hundred dollars, then we got two hundred dollars. So you here taking care of a broke chick, hypothetically speaking. Keep it hundred, nigga. It, it all just see, 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 see. Broke is depending on the value of like what that person bringing brings to the table. Are you talking financially broke, or is a person like you know what I'm saying they bringing something to the table versus it's ever, it's ever means that a person can be broke and not being broke. Nigga, brand daddy, I need to hear this. You know, like, some people, top. So some people can <laughs> can bring shit to the table that's okay. They okay for your your wife. She like you said she. She bought shit to the table. She earned it, right? She and she's still earning it, right? She 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 she's helping with the kids, right? The, the kids homeschool, right? She she she's doing that, right? Mm -hmm. She's earning it, regardless. She's she's earning it. even if she's out of work. She's still earning it, right? That's still your money. Your your your, your money. The money she got is your money. If my woman, if I look at my woman as lazy, meaning she don't like to work and she's not good with money, I'm not gonna buy her the gifts she wants. You would still, you still would do that. Would I still do that? Yeah. <laughs> if she, she's lazy? Nah. If a woman is lazy, she lazy, she don't like to work, she ain't give her money, and she expects that her man is supposed to take care of her because that's what she was taught by her she, mother, who ain't she, shit. Yeah, she has expensive taste, but she can't afford it herself. <clears throat> and remember, expensive taste is a chick who cannot afford what she wants. That's expensive taste. I don't give a fuck if it's a cheeseburger. I don't care if it's pay less shoes. If you can't, if you do not have the bank account or the income to afford what you want, that means it's expensive. Yeah, yeah. But if she ain't lazy and she still can't afford it, right? Mm -hmm. Then that, then that's difference. Then what's the difference? The difference is okay. She she ain't she ain't lazy. She is working, but she ain't she didn't go through <clears throat> um, dude, She didn't go through the loops that she went through as far as you know, the connections or the mindset you have to get. As far as you are, right? Versus your, your income stream to connect whatever it is that took you to your level you are to make you make your money you are right now. If y'all making two different streams of income, right? And she's not lazy. I'm speaking as a woman that that's, that isn't lazy, but still, that still, that still try, trying, trying, they're still trying though, right? What, what the then the, a woman that's not lazy, they're still trying, but she's not, but she's not. The, 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 give me a hypothetical. Describe that hypothetical. Okay, okay. So let's just say a trip to Paris, right? She can't afford a trip to Paris, but you can afford a trip to Paris. She works at McDonald's, right? She should be. She should want to go to Paris. But I'm just though. this hypothetically that? speaking. Right. Hypothetically <laughs> speaking, right? She she, 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 she works. She works at McDonald's. Right? Hypothetically speaking, she works at McDonald's, and you work at X Y Z. You know what I'm saying? You you're 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 a pilot, mm -hmm. all right? Just you're, you're making money, right? So. Let's just say that that's the case. So you you can afford to trip to Paris. Mm -hmm. That's nothing to you. Now, just because she can't afford it, does not mean that you shouldn't take her because she can't afford her own. Or she can't afford her own. You're able to afford it, and she's still trying. She still she still brings something to. The table. She's not being lazy. As long as she ain't being lazy, and she's doing some some something to bring something to the table. As in far as could be cooking, cleaning, could be just anything. She brings. She adds value to the relationship. You know, I feel that's fair. You know what I'm saying? So, 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 because because you make it more and you're able to afford all this X, Y, and Z, you can you can you can afford a Lambo. You know, she can't afford that shit. You know, she she's driving a Honda Accord, which is a hell of a car. <laughs> but let's afford to drive a Honda. But, but, but here's my question. Here's yeah, my question. But, but, you, but you get what you get. Am I gonna get that? I get, I get it, that it, all, it all it all depends on if she's still doing a part now. If she ain't doing shit at all. Right, she just lays sitting back on, on on her back, ain't doing nothing, ain't helping with nothing at all. Then nah, she does. She didn't earn it then. All right, that's what I'm more so talking about now. I, that's, but I, that's I, I, that's... I get that. I get that. But I, I before I gave you my answer, I didn't want you to think that it's you get you get it's 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 it's, it's loop it's loopholes to that. You know what I'm saying? You you can you you can you 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 can you can you can she can earn it, afford it because you're able to afford it. You know what I'm saying? As long as she's doing her part, she 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 earned whatever that she able to bring to the table, she earned it. But she ain't doing shit at all. She just she's just taking you for granted. Then nah, bruh. Okay, now now what now what if <clears throat> McDonald's is a fine job. This this is a job and shit. It pays the bills for some people, right? A female that's working at McDonald's. Now what if a woman okay, you said she's trying. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about what that means because just because you go to work don't mean you're trying. You could be complacent as well, right? So, so let, let's let's say let's let's bring that out there, right? Because my thing is this: like I said a couple minutes ago, if you working at McDonald's and you make a minimum wage, 
I don't want to hear you talking about going to Paris. Just because I can afford it? You shouldn't be talking how to me long, about going to Paris. Okay, how long have how long, how long you been working in there? you working there, you making a career of this shit. Then, yeah, it, it's, it's a problem. Mm-hmm. Right? <laughs> But if you if you're using it as as a stepping stone a stepping stone to get from point A to point B, it's not a problem then. Okay, so so McDonald's is your stepping stone. A step, it's, McDonald's <clears throat> is your is your stepping stone. McDonald's is your stepping stone, and you want and, but yet you still want to go to Paris. That is that doesn't eat that does that doesn't equate. Yeah, to yeah, 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 yeah. It does because it does the same, at, at the same time, when you when you, when if if she she comes home and she, the house house is clean, you got you got dinner made. Right, it's food on the table. Just shit, you know where your, 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 your laundry is done. That shit, normally you have to do. It's already taken care of. Paris, it does, that doesn't equate to Paris. But but it's see, <laughs> but, but okay, okay, okay. But it's expensive taste again. Okay, but look, if a homeless person asks for a quarter, right, give him a dollar. That ain't shit to you at all. But it's something to them. Mm. All right, that's that's an expensive taste. It's like fuck. I don't got change. Take this dollar. It's a, it's a it's expensive taste to them. That's a, okay. I, I see what you're saying. I just feel like and just me. And it, it, it all depends if it's if I'm able if I'm able if I'm uh, if I'm able to afford it, then we're able to afford it. Now versus, am I going to break my back for it? Now, that's two different things. Now, if I'm like shit, let me work these extra shifts. Am I going to do all that now for just so I, I can please you? That's two different things now. That's fair. I, I, I can, you know what I'm saying? I, but if my income allow <clears throat> allow me to afford this uh, something that that, that, that you want to do, that's not that's nothing to me then. That's I'm not gonna complain about that. It's just the complaints is the complaint is if I'm going the extra mile and now extra mile is me working the extra shifts and you're not trying to go the extra mile as far as you get another job or doing X, Y, and Z. You know what I'm saying? You're not thinking about going the extra mile. Imagine this. I'm gonna paint a picture for you. You can now. This is low level shit. Your girl asked you to buy her a fifteen hundred dollar bag for her birthday. You get it when your birthday comes. She buys you two t shirts from Foot Locker that cost you know that little two two for twenty five deal, mm-hmm. and that's all you get from her. And then she goes, "Well, baby, you know I don't make that much money. That's all. I, that's all I can afford." How you feel about that? You knew that going into it. You knew what going into it? You knew if before she was your girl, you knew oh if she if she's your girl, you know what type of income she coming in by by the job she had. Okay. Okay. So you are you she may not tell you the X, Y, and Z, but you know if you were to take the the worst, the best case scenario, how much money she can make. Mm-hmm. You know? And she can't afford the shit that you you can do. Then you already you already set yourself up for that. You knew that going in. You you wasn't blindsided, so you have to accept that. You can't you you can't expect her to do more than a means if you if you use openly willing to accept something that you already knew. You done? Because I'm gonna pull your card again. Okay. How you feel about her asking you for a fifteen hundred dollar bag? I forgot about the fifteen hundred. Yeah, yeah, I know you forgot. About <laughs> fuck all that shit you told me. <laughs> I forgot about the fifteen hundred dollar bag. Goddamn right, you forgot about that fifteen hundred dollar yeah, bag. Yeah, but that fifteen hundred dollar bag, I, I don't. I, you know, it, it's a fifteen hundred dollar bag. If I, if I got the if I already have that shit just is laying around, then yeah. But if I, if I don't have the shit just laying around, like you gonna buy a girl a fifteen hundred dollar no, bag? If can I have the shit, pay if for you, two t shirts, if you, if you, if you, if you, my girl, <clears> and I sat there accepting this shit already. Right, and I already got this shit. It's go back to me saying, "Hey, can I, can I, can I afford this? I'm not going above my means here now. If I can afford this fifteen hundred dollar bag without me breaking my back for it, then yeah, I'm gonna get it. But if I can't afford it, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it. I'm not doing nothing extra that I can't afford, and you're just being lazy. If that 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 makes that makes sense. That make, I, that, no, that, I, which what you're saying makes complete. It's very clear. Mm-hmm. It's very hundred percent clear. I understand. Now, if you're asking me, am I going to get the fan out of the bag and I can't afford this shit and you ain't doing shit at all, I'm not doing it. I got you. But So you telling me right now, if you had $1,500 just laying around because you made $200,000 a year, your girl won a $1,500 bag, you getting it. But you know that she only make minimum wage and she can only afford to buy you the two for 25 t-shirts at Foot Locker. 
you're okay with that. Yeah, if I knew that already, and, 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 and I accepted, and I accepted it, then yeah, because <clears> I'm not, I'm not putting my, my my relationship on values and dollars. Okay, so for me, the way I look at it is, I'm assuming to me this is just logic that is it wrong for me to assume that if you don't make that much money, I'm assuming that if you're a grateful person, if you're a person who has respect and value for somebody else's dollar, that you would m- think it would make sense to request gifts within your means. Is that wrong? Okay. Accept gifts? Within your... You, you, you should, yeah, you should yeah. Re- accept. Okay, okay, okay. You, you should, be, I, you should, I, I, you, you should request gifts within your means. Request and accept. Okay, two different things. Okay. Re- 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 requesting... Not nah, not so much, but except yes, but because because look, 50, you seen the movie Fifty Shades of Grey, right? I ain't seen it, heard All about right. it. All right, but you would you get it? She he he right there is a millionaire, right? He all his money, she don't got shit, <clears throat> but he buy her gifts. She can't afford that shit, but she's grateful for it. He's tricking. But go ahead. But she's grateful for it. She's like, oh, yo, it's it's too much. Why are you doing this? She's she's grateful for it. Mm-hmm. All right, and she she still got a job. She's still working, but her income doesn't match yours in any scale at all. He's tricking. He's a millionaire. It's, a, it's a sport for him. It's it's a, it's a sport. Now, now let's talk in terms. And that now now y'all y'all be understand. And this is the most I ever talk in an interview. I don't fucking talk. You know what I'm saying? But I'm talking. But he's. I mean, he was here last week talking about tricking. Right. Yeah, they ain't tricking if you got it. That's what right. I believe. Okay, I disagree with that. It's trick. It's, it's just easier to trick. I don't trick. It's easier to trick. Tricking is a sport when you got it. It's mm-hmm. fun when you yeah. got it. But at the end of the day, you're still it's, tricking. It's, it's you spending money. It's it's money that, that that's doesn't need to be expendable. Spent. They, they don't mean shit to you. you right. Know, but, I, but but also doesn't need to be spent because a broken motherfucker can get the same thing that you got without mm-hmm. spending money. You a millionaire. Yeah, and I said that earlier. Remember, I said right, that. Right. I said the man. All you gotta do is look like he got money. Yeah. Right. And no, or you don't even have to look like you have money. You can just be attracted. You can just have the swag the girl likes. Yeah, correct. You feel what I'm saying? And you could be a broke nigga with the swag that she like, and she could be as happy as can be with this broke man. Okay, now, but all I, my thing is just again, is it just like when it comes to 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 gratefulness, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Y'all. A lot of uh, I've been in that situation for like 25 years ago. When I think my first girlfriend out of college, she was broke as shit. But she thought that I, because I was her boyfriend, I was supposed to rescue her out of financial uh, 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 issues. And it's like, nah, nah, you're asking me for things that you can't even afford. Fuck to buy yourself. You can't even afford to buy me. I'm not doing it. I'm not, I, I'm, I'm not thinking of planning a future with you when you can't even afford to get what you want. Planning a future with you is out of the question. All right. So, but, but you already made up your mind, though. You, 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 so, therefore... Ain't nothing wrong, and what you what you what you just say ain't nothing wrong with it. But if you made up your mind saying you're going to spend your life with this person, and you and you're willing to accept whatever, whatever she's coming, that's obvious. That's but, obvious, right? That's then obvious. That, then that doesn't then that doesn't matter. But if you're, I'm not going to break my back for you. If I already know, you keep shit, saying breaking me. your back, nigga. You keep saying breaking your back because 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 I want <clears> you to <throat> understand that when you say expensive taste, expensive taste is expensive to someone that can't. That that expensive is if it's something that I I can't normally afford. It's it's not it's not expensive to me if I can afford buy it off the humble. That's not expensive to me. Okay, I got you. That's why I say that's why I'm using the word break my back when I use the word expensive because I can't afford the shit. Does that make you a trick? Damn right it does. Okay. As long as Damn you admit right that. it does. As long as you admit Damn, if, if I can't afford, like I said, I, I say me, I believe it ain't tricking if you got it right. Mm. You don't have that shit. So you are tricking now, yeah. and so yeah, you are you are tricking now. Right, right. So I'm saying, but but if I have the shit, it that's not that's not expensive to take me me. If I have it and I can and I and I can fly you to trip to Paris off the humble, that's not that's not expensive taste to me because that's not that's not expensive taste to me because I have it. That's not that's not high end tricking. If I if I tricking for sport. Yeah, but it, but it, but it, but, I, but I but I have it though, so that's still not tricky. expensive taste. It's, it's it's tricky. Either way, it's tricky. Okay. Like I said, I again, I know I keep repeating myself, y'all. It's just like I said, I'm just trying to understand this whole concept of why would anybody be comfortable giving someone a gift 
or someone being with someone who's requesting gifts that they can't afford to buy themselves or you. Why a person would request a gift that they can't even afford to buy you. Why a person would know that they're lazy as fuck and ask you. And why another man would tell another man, I don't know, dog, it was her birthday. I still would have done it. Even though you know after her birthday is over, you're going to go home to a broke bitch. A broke bitch, a broke begging ass bitch. That's what you're going to go home to. So you have another man telling you to provide your broke begging ass chick with something that she can't provide you. She could, that $200 for a hotel room, you could use that shit for a bill. You feel what I'm saying? But anyways, um, so I just peeped this thing, right? <clears throat> you ever seen, I call it butt plug love, but this girl said if a dude really fuck with her, she said when I pull this butt plug out of my ass, if the nigga don't put it in his mouth, we got an issue. <laughs> Chick pull a butt plug out, what you gonna do with it? You put, you put it in your mouth? Tell the truth, nigga. I got me. I, I got better situation because I eat ass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got me. So but at the same time, I'm, I'm 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 not a fan of putting toys in my mouth. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not that's what I'm thinking about. It ain't a deal though. Ain't no dickhead. It's, it's a butt. It's a butt plug. You ain't gonna put it in your mouth. I, I gotta be in the situation. It's easier to say say what I'm going to do and I'm not going to do. But like I said, I I, I eat ass, so it's that's not. It's it's versus if I didn't eat ass, I'll say hell no. You know what I'm saying? If, I, if you caught me ten years ago, that's a hell no. Yeah. Versus me, if I'm in that and you catch me, you catch me right right there in the mood, and I'm I don't know. I don't. I got I got to see how my response. I don't know. I, it's easier for me to say no. Easy, you know what I'm saying? But I got to be right right there and see see what the vibe is like. Yeah. That's true. If that makes sense. That, 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 I'm not feeling what you Yeah, mean. yeah. It, it, I, off the humble, if I'm, if I'm doing that, do you actually have off the humble? No, I'm not doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I can't say that if I, not, not, you know, that's one of the situations because, like I said, it's easier to say that if I don't eat ass. I eat ass, so it's like I'm, my tongue already going to your ass. So you're going to look in the camera and why if you pull a motherfucking butt plug out? Look in the camera. What you going to do with the butt plug? Why if you put a butt plug? She hand you the butt plug. What you going to do with it, nigga? I'm eating her ass. <laughs> And you ain't, you ain't gonna suck on the butt plug. <laughs> I'm always nasty, but to be honest, I'm all if, if it, you know, I'm gonna do whatever, whatever it is that's not gay in the bed, in the bed sheet. You know what I'm saying? You, you know what I'm saying? It, it, I, I'm all, I'm all for this shit, to doing this shit that, yeah, you ain't violating my motherfucker, but I'm good. <laughs> okay, so I'm glad you said that because you brought. I reason I told I'm gonna let you slide. You brought up the gooch. Yeah. That's there's that a request of yours? Did you, did you did say it. you told her to lick the gooch. Yeah, go ahead. Tell the truth. Look, look at the case. Is that what, yeah. what you telling her to stop at the gooch? The the, the the ass part. I'm not. That shit does nothing for me. What, is, what the fuck does the gooch you, do? Because you talking the gooch. The gooch is between the ass. I know what the fuck. And, the I, is and I already know what you ain't getting at. You're trying to say you gonna let her lick, lick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I already know you ain't aiming that right. That, that's different things right there. <laughs> All right, now me, I'm not. You, you actually did. did I have, have I ever let a girl lick my ass before? Okay, I, I, I had it, had it done before. That shit does nothing for me. Mm-hmm. I don't get no feeling from that shit at all. It doesn't. I don't care for that at all. All right, I don't care for it. That's just me personally. How you feel about dudes who do? That's your preference. No, I'm, 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 what's your opinion? How you feel about a nigga? I just told you. That's, I don't care about it. That's your preference. What you do in your sheets is what you do in your sheets. I don't care about that. You think that's it's homosexual? No, I don't care. That's just not, I don't, that's not something I look at. Some dudes, they may say, you know what? I, I like you when my girl bend me over. <laughs> Am I right? Some guys, like, mm-hmm. they like that shit, right? And they look at it like, like they're, they're, they're not gay, all right? But I don't give a fuck what you are, cause I don't I, I don't care about what the fuck if you sleeping with a man or woman. I don't care about that type of All shit. Right. Well, we we not talking. Okay, let's do this. That, that's that's me. I'm saying, I don't I don't I don't I don't care. Let's care go about. let's go back to what I know. I'm cutting you off too. Let's go back to what you said. If, if it's in the room with a woman, it's not homosexual, right? Right. We can. Is that fair? If it's in the room with a woman, it's homosexual. If it's a woman in the room and just you and a woman and she does it, is it can it be homosexual? Bruh. Yes or no, nigga? Okay, that, shit. That's, that's some gay ass shit. So some people be doing. So that's not like. So I'm asking you, oh, so ask you a question. So would I do it? Hell, there's some shit that women do. I'm not going to do it. it is, I'm not going to judge you, you. You said you're a nasty dude, right? I'm a nasty dude, but all you're right, not so, doing so shit I, I, to I, my I'm motherfucking a, back area. All right, all right, okay. <laughs> so, so a dude who. 
you know what getting milked is, right? What's what's getting milked? You doggy style the chick, she like jerking your dick downwards. Eating your ass, jerking shit down, and you nut while she eating your ass. But she like how like you milk a cow. Yeah, that never happened before. But do I do I care for it? Never never, never do doing it. I don't. I don't that's I'm not, asking you. So you you basically saying wife? I never tried if, that. If, if, wife, if wifey said, "Look, man," no, she's not doing it. You wouldn't let her do it. No, I'm not going to. No. Okay. All 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 because of all the strength of the whole looking at ass shit. I don't get no feeling for that shit. I don't care for that shit. I don't I don't care for it. <clears throat> I tried it. I don't. You know what I'm saying? It's me on camera. I tried well, it. When yeah. you tried it, what position? I get what no position was you in? Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I was not in no What are you talking about? Yeah. Yeah. What, what position was you in, bruh? Yeah, bruh. Was uh, you doggy style or was you in your No, I wasn't no fucking. I wasn't doggy style. Yeah. I wasn't doggy style. An- ankles at your ears? Huh? Was your ankles at your ears? Bruh. Nah. Keep it out of man. Bruh, bruh. I was laying down my, on my fucking back. Man. You know what I'm saying? She was sucking me. And, you know what? And, and did, you you raise your leg, did you raise your legs up? Sorry. <laughs> Did you raise your legs up? <laughs> Keep it on it, man. Did you raise your legs up? I mean, there's only two ways to go ahead. Did you go raise yes and no? There's two ways to do it. No, 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 no. I'm answering okay. your question. All right, all right. There's two ways to do it, right? Either, 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 either you're going to be motherfucking doggy style or you want to raise or you, or she she or she or, or she's on top of you. Regardless, she's on top of you. Your leg got to go. You don't have no way but to go ahead. You have no way but to go ahead to go ahead. Did you raise your legs, bro? <laughs> I mean, you a pimp, nigga. You shouldn't even be worried about it. Don't get bashful now. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I answered your question already. I just said there's only two ways. So, so yes, you raise your legs. Now, but now was she holding them open, or did you hold your own legs open? <laughs> no, I, I, I had one leg. I, I had one leg right here. You hold it. You, you hold it. Did you feel unmanly? Nah, I, I just felt like, you know what, this shit's not comfortable. I don't like this shit. This shit don't do nothing for me. What age was this? Huh? What age was this? I'm in my 30s. Early, nigga? Where were my age? Nah, I was in, in my, in my late 30s. Or late 30s. So basically, like, okay. Huh? <laughs> Why niggas be getting all bashful with it? I ain't bashful. I answered answer your question. You just want me openly to say, you know, nigga, you're like, I'm going to keep it up. Yeah, yeah, I kept watching with you. I, yeah. I said it's only two ways for the shit to happen. Am I right or wrong? All right. Yeah, yeah I answered your question. I said I was, I was on my back, right? All right. All right. Yeah. So, I, and that, does, that, that, that don't do nothing for me, though. Okay. Like, but I don't judge people that, that, does, that, that, does, that, does, that does do that shit. Right? That don't, I, don't, I don't care, you know. Have your ass tried this shit? I, I, I'm the questioner. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't answer questions, brother. <laughs> no, you just said don't you was in the park. You I was like, oh, ask me a question. You don't, don't say to me any shit, bro. Right? I'm but the like, interviewer. Hey, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the interviewer. All right, hey, you interview with that. If I was in the front of the camera, it'd be a whole different story. Yeah, exactly. I right. I'm, yeah. I'm the interviewer, <laughs> sir. Uh, but yeah, but yeah, me, I don't, I don't, I don't give a fuck about what you do, you don't do. But it, it, it does nothing for me, though. Okay. You suck toes? Yeah, I suck toes. So, here's what I'm asking this. Um, so, I was talking to my young boy, and we, we rap all the time. I try to mentor the cat all the time, right? And um, basically, what we were talking about was I was telling him, I said, you know, something I don't understand about people when they think about it, especially like these newer, I'm, I'm going to say these, these, the, 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 the younger people of today. And I'm pretty sure what's going on. I, I know. I know. My dad used to tell me back in like the '70s. He said, "You know, we didn't really have to worry about condoms because AIDS. AIDS wasn't out like that. Yeah, they had worry about syphilis. Like they, that. they had to worry about uh, gonorrhea. It's, it's get the penicillin. Gonorrhea. Yeah, get the penicillin shot. Well, syphilis you can't get rid of, but God, they, 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 they swear. They still had that. They, they, they had. They had. Oh, yeah. that, they had that going 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 on back. That, that's what, that's what killed Al Capone. Syphilis. Yeah, I know. You know what I'm saying? Um, oh, I, I come on. No, no. I, I thought it was. I, th- I knew what's the had syphilis. Who? Hitler had syphilis. He did too. That's one of the reasons why he had. He he, he didn't like the Jews. He, a Jew gave him, gave him syphilis. Oh, uh, see, Al Capone called. I think you know he used to fuck with the prostitutes. Um, and um, he didn't know that part. His last days, he used to fish in a swimming pool. He used to have a fish around a swimming pool. He's no fuck with the brain. Mm-hmm. Um, so you know, my dad always said that. He said, you know, in our day, you can stick your dick in anything because we ain't had to do. We're worried about gonorrhea. You know, you get a shot. So my young boy, I was talking to him, and I said, "Man, you know, y'all hit like okay. So the girls are having they giving up the box on the first night before they make a man prove any bit that he's worthy of the box, right? Mm-hmm. And then condom usage isn't that 
high. It doesn't seem like, from what he's telling me, y'all not using condoms like that. Now, granted, you know, in our day, I told him, I said, dude, when I was young, in like the 90s, 80s, 90s, man, you, you get diagnosed with, uh, before magic, you get diagnosed with HIV, you're, you know, it's a death sentence. It's a, yeah. You're dead. You know what I'm saying? Like seven something years, you dead. Where it's like, right, right. It's like now, you you get the cocktail, you go undetected, all that kind of shit, right? And I said, dude, let me ask you a question. I said, it's strange to me. What what differentiates your wife from any other dirty ass chick that you dated? I'm not saying that every chick he's dated or has sex with is gonna be dirty. What I'm saying is, what do you say? What's gonna what's what's special about your wife? So, So you meet your wife. How many niggas are gonna have? Dump they load in her. That's something I don't want to think about. You, you, you feel what I'm saying? I get what you're saying, but that's something that that right there is is, is a weak weak my a weak man. Thing. I don't know about that one, bro. Because 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 if you that like you said, and that's fair. That's fair. But what you said is you are the questioner, right? Mm-hmm. Right. And this is my, this is what I what I believe. Okay. So that's, <laughs> fact, that's fact. That's fact. That's fact. That's fact. That's fact. Right. Right. That's fact. And 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 what what, what I say in the last the last joint? I don't give a fuck what you did in the past. And mm-hmm. I say that mm-hmm. I don't care. I'm not thinking about that shit. And mm-hmm. you actually agreed in that joint. I agree 100. percent Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a what we. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not that's not something I think about. I'm, I'm not indulging in it, mm. right? I don't care about. It. I don't. Why I want to think about that shit, bro? That shit's gonna turn me off from you. Mm. Why I'm trying to get turned off from you? I'm not. Fact. You know, I'm not something that's in my mind. Like how many dicks you done took? I would never be the first one. I okay. would be the last one. Let me ask you this. So, from an aspect of me, okay, me being a mentor. I'm looking at him and I'm saying to myself, bro, you meet your wife. How is she special? Your wife, the, the woman you marry, yeah. is that supposed to be a special one? Yeah. Correct? Mm-hmm. You meet her, y'all have, you, you bust nuts in her, right? Mm-hmm. You have kids together. But, bro, the girl you met at the bar that you took home an hour morning. later and you hit her raw. The, the chick you met two weeks later, you hit her. I'm talking first date, y'all just, you marry your wife. You, you hit her. What, 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 what makes her so special? What makes her your wife than the other, other chicks that you treated the exact same way, right? You're her husband. I never, see, I, I haven't done what, what, you, what you said done. What? I took a girl home and hit her raw on the, off the first day. That's what these young people Yeah, I, I, I never, I never, I never experienced that. Now pause, now pause, and let me get you, because like you said, you ain't thinking about that. The reason I'm bringing it up is but because. No, 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 what I said was I never took her home, and I, and I, and I, and I, and I fucked her raw the first day of me meeting her. I said, I, I, I met her at the club, and I fucked her raw. <laughs> From the club, I mean, I, I, never, I never done that. No, and that, that's what I, that's what I'm trying to double back. When you said you're not thinking about that, yeah. For them, for him, his age group, that is something I think they need to think about because that is how y'all are rolling. Because yeah, but I never, I would never roll because I know that shit right there is it, isn't sick. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not. Yeah, that's not. Now I don't, I don't, I don't knock you taking a girl home and and from the club, the bar, whatever. You knock her down the first day. I, hey, do you? Hey, bro. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, that's what you should do. That, that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, yes, sir. All day. And, you know, and I'm in the paint shack post. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But raw? Nah, bro. What's up? Like, some what I'm saying. They, they, them, niggas, them niggas got the game fucked up. They got them so far. They trying to get their life fucked up. Thank you. Okay, that that's what I'm trying to get you to understand. So like, it wasn't. No, ain't nothing to understand. I, that, that is what. Yeah, yeah I, I, I didn't say, hey, or oh, I'm gonna meet you and girl. I mean, no, come on, we talked about that. Ain't nobody doing all that shit. But it's but but at the end of the day, when when you're when you're my age, right? Cause you're 39, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm 45. When you're my age, and I'm listening to my young boy who's 24, and I'm listening to all these stories. He getting raw. And I'm like, nigga, you. You met her and you hit her first night. I'm like, okay, so you do you did that? Damn, everybody must be. You hit her raw and she swallowed to come up first night. I mean, a bitch. Now, now granted, the dude she marries probably ain't gonna notice. But guess what? If that's how she rolls. It's no many, it's no telling how many. Again, it's not about the mental picture. It's how do you? How does a woman differentiate? But remember when we was young, they said you ain't supposed to fuck every bar the same way. Remember how you know what I'm saying? You ain't supposed to fuck her too good. And you have women say, "Well, I'm not gonna do all the freaky shit for you. I do. I'm gonna I'm say that for my husband." God mm-hmm. damn, these motherfuckers now don't seem to be doing nothing, right? Mm-hmm. So again, my that, like I asked him when I asked him, I said, "Dog, what makes you special? What's gonna make you special to the woman you marry?" 
Because he could, because he feel like what she doing for me, she ain't gonna do for the next man. <laughs> and I felt like that too. Oh, I still feel like that. I always don't feel like that. But it's not true. I don't give a fuck. It's, it's me. It's me soothing my ego. It, it, right. Yeah. That, 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 that's <laughs> what I tell people before is men got to tell themselves what they need to to sleep at night. So you're gonna lie to yourself, right? Now the best thing to do is just if like you, you believe this shit. Are you, are you already lying? Yeah. It goes back to delusion. You call me delusional. It's different things. You say I'm lying to myself. If I said the bloody shit, I'm not. I guess you're right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah good point. I mean, yeah. yeah. Good point. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. And like I said, I'm not. I'm not saying this to to make anybody walk around. No, you. This is not a. You're never gonna know somebody's sexual pain. That's not what this is about. Mm-hmm. It's about me from the outside looking in, being older, listening to a younger person, and being sad that yo, y'all have no standards, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that. It's kind of like you know you. Like, let's say you and your, your, your woman date. You know, I don't care if you date 100 women. You still want to take each 100 women to a different spot where that's just, there's there's a, 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 a restaurant that you took this woman that you never took nobody else. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Simple shit like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I understand that. But, I, and it's, but it's still okay to repeat dates, though. No, 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 yeah, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you, you <laughs> still need to develop a memory that I have just with that one with that one person That's what I'm saying Like you said Ain't nobody gonna be no virgin I, I, I'm talking a lot this time But it, nobody's gonna be a virgin Right Well I mean it could be But most time Ain't nobody gonna be no virgin We're not I'm talking about virgin. that Way too young for me now Yeah yeah, <laughs> right, right. yeah we're not talking about that But we're talking about Yeah you've had sex with other people But damn you still wanna know that You know what With this one right here I've done this This is something that me and her done done You feel what I'm saying So Man I don't even know man I, don't know. I think that's about it for me man you got any questions you want to ask me, bro, that I'm not going to answer? No, nah, you just ain't not going to answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. You ain't going to answer. I'm dead. Is, is that all of them, though? No, that's, that was about it. I, um, well, I had a couple, but I don't think you're going to answer them. How you feel about... Uh, so I want to ask you about blended families, man. I'm in a blended family, so therefore... You know what I'm saying? I, I, was, I was conceived in a, in a blended family. I'm mixed, you know, therefore... Now my kids is in the blended all all my kids because I'm mixed. So no matter what their mother is, they're in a blended family regardless. And my household is, is a blended. We got different cultures. We, we you know, so you just gotta maybe do people cultures is different when you and that's not always gonna be easy right there when you when you're looking into people cultures. You just gotta be open and willing to accept their culture and blend it with yours and and try to learn their culture and hopefully they learn your 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 your, your culture. What about that's the kids? Way. You gotta let other kids like like you love. If you you're open and willing, because I know how you feel about, about about kids. You know what I'm saying? You're not you're not you're not you're not one to go ahead and play stepdaddy bro. Mm-hmm. That's not you. Mm-hmm. All right. Me, you know what I'm saying? I feel like if, if you're you're open and willing to accept the woman like kids, then you gotta play step stepdaddy role. If you if if that's if that's what you accept, then that's what you accept. If you don't, then go on. Let let her be, because that's not you already got in your mindset that that's not what you want. But know know this, if you if she that woman is looking for someone to be there, right? And being there full time is being a stepdad. Mm-hmm. Because if once y'all once y'all once y'all live, live together, live, live together, and she got full custody kids, she got full custody kids. You you are you, you're there. You're part of that kid's life. You got to the kid every day. The kid getting ready for school. Kid got kid him out home from school. You're, you're there. How can you not try to form a bond connection with him or her? Mm-hmm. That's just my, my views and points of that right there. Yeah. You, you ever feel like, why am I being expected to raise another man's kids? No. That right there ne- never. Because you know, my wife, she, have a, she, she, have a, she brought the kids to the table. Right, and I don't. I don't feel that way. I don't. I don't feel like nothing is is, uh, is expected to me from me when it comes to that. I mean, I feel like what let me let me get that double back. It's expected or eggs. It's like okay, no, if nothing is eggs. For me, right? Everything, everything I do is is just received, mm-hmm. 
You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't I wouldn't say that that's it's, it is expected. You know what I'm saying? I'm fortunate enough to say that it's not it's, it's nothing's asked for me. Hey, can you do X Y and Z for X for X Y and Z? I don't have that situation. You know, you know I just know that I feel like as a man I'm I'm part of this kid life, right? I feel like I I have you may disagree with me. I have a duty by this by this child to know that hey. This is how this is how this is how man step. This is what you, what you do. This is okay. This is not okay. And what what if, what if the father's present? What's the, I mean, what's, what if the yeah? What if the father? He ain't dead. He ain't no deadbeat. What if he's active? Then what? Now that, that's that's two different. Now the, the father present. You you don't you you shouldn't try to step on another man's toes. Mm -hmm. Now you know you shouldn't step on another man's toes. You still going to try to be the active you know proud stepdad. That, that that's that's like that's like a gray a gray area, because because you, you never want a child to feel now. Granted, nothing is is a child fault, right? And there, and there, and so you don't. Okay. And now now let, let's just say you and this woman have, have have kids together. You don't want that child to feel left out. And now I I understand how other men feel like shit. Well, I'm buying my kid McDonald's. I ain't buying this kid shit. To me, that's just weak right there. Because if you're around the kid, yeah, buy that, buy that, buy that kid some meat too. There, if you if you're around the kid, if you if you're not around the kid, then and and the, and the kid is just okay. You know what? I'm I'm dating this mom, but we don't live, but we don't live together. Why? Well, you know, that's a different thing. But we but we live together, and that child's still there, and the child, the father's still in life. It's no problem with you doing something for that child. You know, it was not, I'm not, that's, that's, that, that doesn't mean you step on the father's, the father's toes. You're not trying to, it just, you know, so you, 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 it's not, it's not, not it's not the kid's fault that shit didn't work out. But that, you should never make a child feel like, hey, it's, it's more love in the area than, it, than that person, than, ever, than his brother's, his brother's siblings getting more love in the, in the household. Because they may, they may feel, they may they may not fuck with their, their siblings because of that. All right, so does, does, does that make sense? What you saying makes one hundred percent sense. But you know, I'm gonna tell you what's funny about you. You talk one hundred percent accurate on one side, and then you forget about the other side. That you said that's weak, right? That means women are weak because the attitude that men take towards the blended family stepping in, being stepdad. Women don't be doing that. Most of the average women don't care about the man's kids. They care about their kids and they their kids prior to the man, and they care about their kids with the man. The man cares, kids about cause, another cause woman. People people don't don't care about the man. But right, the, the one the, the man's kids by another woman. That woman don't give a they shit about. They don't, they don't care about that. It's it's it's, they can, it's about me. Yeah, it's about me and mine. Yeah, and again, that's going back to I'm not I'm not letting you, I'm not letting you dictate the type of person I am. I got you. you know what I'm it has nothing to do, like mind you, what I what I was saying is towards the kids. I don't want the kids to feel a certain type of way. Mm -hmm. I didn't never say I want the woman to feel that oh, he loved my kids. I never said that. Okay. Okay. Did I? No. I said it's the kids. The kids didn't ask for that shit. I, I did say that, right? The kids yes. didn't ask for it. Yep. So it's about the kids for me. So I don't care about when it comes down to when dip them of the kids. I care about the woman and her kids, but I don't care about as far as if I know I'm treating the kids right. I don't. I don't care about the negative shit that that you can say about it towards the kids. Gotcha. I don't care about that. I just know what I feel and believe is right and wrong, and I and I know that my kids and your kids are siblings. So I want I want you to treat my kid like a sibling. I don't want you to feel. You, you get what I'm saying? Like, nah, man, fuck him. They ain't my, my brother. It ain't my sister. You know what I'm saying? Nah, nah, bro. That's your brother. His, 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 my, it's my, it's my brother's sister. Treats stepdad, whatever. He treats me the same way that he would treat them. So I want you to have the same love. I want you, when I'm not around, protect my kid. Because that's what I'm earning right there. I'm earning your trust. I'm earning your respect. I'm earning you want to respect and trust my kids too. Because the respect and love that you have for me. I think it's I think it's hard for women. I think it's hard for women to do that because every dude I know that that's in a blended situation where they take on the role to show to 
care and respect and protect the woman's kids when it comes down to it, the woman don't share the same thing for the man, for the man's kids. I noticed that. You know what I'm saying? But um, anyways, man, I ain't gonna hold you, brother. It's been real. Um, so we're gonna end it. But you uh go ahead and verbalize and that you had your you was on your back with your ankles at your ears. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and admit it to the camera, man. I didn't say backward ankles, none of that shit. Yeah, you did. I didn't say backward ankles. You said on your back with your legs in the air. You was holding your... No, one, I didn't say legs. One leg or both legs? I didn't say legs. Said, well, this, I mean, come I, on, man. Bro, I had one leg to the... I had one leg to the motherfucking side and, right and you, there. And you held it yourself. You held it yourself. <laughs> I had pulled one leg to the side. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and, I think she may, may push it no, to the you side. Might, no, you said you locked your leg behind <laughs> no, your head. No, I didn't do shit. that. That's one thing I didn't yeah. do. I just <laughs> hear that right there. That didn't happen. Oh, <laughs> that didn't happen. I ain't going to... Huh. Huh. I ain't holding that motherfucker. Nah, that didn't happen. Yeah. Now that's me, God. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, lick this motherfucker a little bit for hold. This is me hold my leg. You know, so just go ahead, lick it. Go ahead, lick it. Nah, that ain't happening. Like that. All right, that's it, man. We out of here, y'all. <laughs>